Shamnu mitra, shambaruna, shamnu bhavet vareyamam, shamna indru brahaspati, shamnu vishnu rukrama, namu brahmini, namaste vayu, twamiva pratyaksha. Depuis leur rencontre en Inde il y a près de 30 ans, auprès du guide spirituel Osho, Deva Premal et Mitaine se perçoivent comme un et vivent ensemble chaque moment. Issus d'une sagesse millénaire, les mantras qu'ils interprètent désignent en sanskrit un véhicule de libération de l'esprit vers un espace de conscience et d'harmonie. Alliant la force vibratoire des mantras à des compositions originales, leur musique unit des centaines de milliers de personnes dans le monde. Shanti, Shanti. I, I just remember being a little child, a little girl in Germany, and my my mother or my father um, come in at night to sing the Gayatri Mantra with me before sleeping, and they, they sit at the side of my bed and we sing three times. Om Hur Bhuvasva Tat Savitur Varenyam Hargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya And that happens every night. <laughs> And then I would say Satchit Ananda, Satchit Ananda, Satchit Ananda, which means truth, consciousness, bliss. And uh, I had no idea that's what it meant. <laughs> And I had no idea that this was the Gayatri Mantra that I was chanting, singing. And uh, I remember asking my mom once, what, what does it mean what we're singing? And she said, it's like, it's like laundry, she said. You know, for a little kid, I guess she meant cleansing, of course, purifying. But, so I just, but I just had this laundry <laughs> image, <laughs> which is totally fine. <laughs> And then, just in daily life, there were different mantras. You know, I would say Om every. T I was asked to say Om every time I put something on a table or Ram every time I switch on the light. That's mantra, and that was all through the day. And that was my, what my father um, designed for his two daughters, so that they will be more in the moment and more aware and more conscious, more respectful. By the time I got to Osho, I'd done my homework. I'd lived a, a lot of intensities in my life, and uh, so I was ready for something that was beyond the what society told me was good. I wanted to be a rock star as a kid. I wanted to make lots of money with music. I wanted all the things that go with it. And when I got some of that, I was help what 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 you know and then a friend of mine gave me a book and that's where i came to osho and and so my journey to mantras began there apart from that i heard uh, john lennon singing a mantra on across the universe and george harrison singing my sweet lord you know these were all part of my culture so i knew there was something but i just didn't go east until everything went south in my life, <laughs> you know, and then I went east and then that's where we met and that's where I began to be able to help Deva to, to, to channel this amazing gift that she'd been given by her parents and then suddenly when she began to sing the Gayatri Mantra and chant the Gayatri Mantra, everything <laughs> changed. <laughs> It was amazing. It was just like you suddenly saw this flower open in your life, like physically watching uh, and being part of a, of a blossoming in life is incredible, like we all know, and we were very blessed to, to have been together. 
and to share this blossoming of, uh, of uh, healing sound. Personally, I find the mantras, they all take me to the same space. They all take me to a silent space and they feel like different doorways, but basically where I land in the end is where I want to, where I love to be most, which is a silent space. It's a very alive and uh, vibrant space. And, and, and that deepens every time, yeah. at the end of every mantra. Yeah. yeah. And that's and and my joy is to share that you know like that that's that's part of my seems to be part of my um, mission in this life to to be able to share this and that we can facilitate that for for people to experience that together you know and so the the community the sense of community connection and love is for me as important as the meditation and the mantra and the sound medicine you know the the it's um i find that 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 sense of connection is healing in itself just received from our friend uh, a photo of the water crystals. Water, just normal water, and then that water was the Gaya, they played the Gayatri Mantra to this water and, and filmed, the, take, took a photo of the water crystal, and suddenly it had become this incredible shape. That's such a great proof because we love to see things, you know, and uh, obviously we, we consists of, I don't know, 70% water, whatever the number is. And when we chant, we are, we are changing the, actually the physiology of our own bodies because we, this water that's inside of us is being that's harmonized true. and, and uh, restructured mm. and, and it's made healthy and fine and artistic and <laughs> sacred geometry. And, and this is this is tangible. We all feel it, but it's so nice to see it also, you know. And uh, and that's why it's it's Sanskrit is special because Sanskrit is an energy-based language where this is possible, where it's not a descriptive language. Yeah. And uh, and that's why, it, especially with Sanskrit, we don't need to know what it means, you know. The, the, we just when we utter these sounds and we repeat them, specially because then. They can really tune our beings. Then they, they, it's a direct experience of, of what, of the quality that we are. The thing that I learned with Osho, with the music, is that it has to begin in, in silence. You know, the mantras really, they, they, they demand our respect, you know. And that's what I find that's so precious with, with Devo. And when, when, the, when she sings the mantra, it's not, there's not any superficiality there. And there's no pretension. You have to approach the mantras with great respect. They won't come to you. They're only here. They're just here. And uh, either you step towards it and look and find, I want a mantra. I want a friend through sound. And that's what a mantra can be, you know. It can be a friend through life. And it's a, it's a, a friend that will never leave you. It's sound. It's potent. It's energy. We're not distant from the mantras, Dave and me and the nose. We're in it. We're all in it.
We can, you know, with the mantras, they're like flowers. They all have a scent and an aroma. And just like a flower, it just sends the scent out into the universe. And that's how it is with the mantras. They have scent, they have aroma. And when we sing together, who knows where they go. So that's our musician's role. It's like to create a, 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 an environment, you know, where people feel safe to open their voices and especially men us men we, we're a little more shy you know to sing open our voices so in this environment we start to all sing together and the power is not just the sound it's the breath we breathe together so all, the, all my brothers all the men can you all stand up that's so great thank you so much with these deep voices we can chant this mantra for the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan people we go to every year for a festival over there in September. We play for uh, an organization that takes care of autistic children. We bring the band and uh, they have a, a beautiful uh, auditorium kind of place and the, the, the clients are there and their parents are there and uh, the caregivers are there and, uh, and together we, we have this healing uh, ex experience, especially for the caregivers, we found. But, but it's incredible how the how the children, how the kids respond to the mantras. The staff comes every time afterwards and said we just have never seen our children or the residents like this. That they mm. could actually be relaxed for an hour and a half, sitting, listening, and sometimes also singing themselves or and that they don't have their restlessness, they don't have their times when they get, when they freak out, you know, in, in um, they, they just said we just never see them like this. For me that's all, again so beautiful because they, they don't have any idea about mantras, why they should be working and what they're listening to or what, they don't have any kind of belief system around it, you know, which could be like placebo. Also, we've played a few times in prisons, and uh, that's a very strong place, you know, to to share to share the mantras and to to enter a silent space prison. And uh, I love that when we played in San Quentin a few years ago. Uh, one of the guys there, he came to us afterwards, and he said, "I've been here for 25 years, but tonight I was free." To invite uh, the energy of mantras into our lives, it's an exploration that can happen with every outbreath, and that we, we remember the sound of Om with every outbreath. 
And that can happen inside, it doesn't have to be out loud. It's beautiful if it's out loud because then we also vibrate our bodies, you know, through the sound, through the actual sound, our cells get charged. So Om is the, the precious jewel that we all can carry and, and draw from, draw energy from. Let us, let it give us peace and relaxation. And, uh, and then from there, you know, we can go to Om Shanti, which means peace. Om Shanti, Om. See what that feels like to chant that 108 cycles every day, you know, just before sleeping maybe. And then you can take it from there. Maybe there's a, a mantra that focuses on an issue that you have, that you want to, like healing, physical healing, or you want to um, remove energetic blocks out of, out of different ventures that you are doing, out of, out of certain projects. You want to focus on, on the, on the well-being of those projects or the, 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 the past be cleared for them to happen in a good way. Then you have Ganesh Mantra for that, Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. You just take little steps of exploring. It's good to stay a little longer with one mantra so you can go more deeply into it. And if you really don't know which mantra it is, you say there are so many and I wouldn't even know where to start. The Gayatri Mantra, you know, it's, it's the light and the light is universal, the light lights up everything. So everything is included in the Gaia Tri Mantra. say okay now I have my mantra I will chant it every night and, and, and if you say to yourself I will chant it for 21 nights whatever every night before I go to sleep for that amount of time that's my commitment and then you start to have a relationship with the mantra you start to feel its vibration so things like that little things seeds along the way along the daily life that will create more sacredness is precious. Yeah.